641, welcome back. Something very rare and unique. Easily once in a lifetime is scheduled to happen in San Antonio soon. So it will happen over the span of two days, October 14th and April 8th of 2024. The moon will move completely in front of the sun, cutting a path across south central Texas, converging near San Antonio. Our Justin Horn fills us in on the first of those two events, which is called the annular solar eclipse. We're getting two in a row when they should be hundreds of years apart. San Antonio, or at least most of the city, has hit the celestial jackpot. Not only are we going to be in the path of a full annular solar eclipse on October 14th, but a total solar eclipse on April 8th of next year. And while the total solar eclipse is going to draw more attention, you shouldn't sleep on the annular. So this may be your only chance to see this, and it's an incredible thing to see. It looks like there's a hole in the sun. And that's the difference between the two, how much sun you're going to see during the event. Sometimes the moon can block out the whole of the sun. That's during a total. But sometimes it's just a little bit further away from us. Its orbit isn't perfectly circular. And so when it's just a bit too far, you can still see the edge of the sun. That's the annular. And annulus is a fancy word for donut. And and so that's what we call the eclipse, where we can still see the edge of the sun or the ring of fire. Here's a look at the path and what time you'll see the ring of fire. Keep in mind, the event lasts a few hours. The main show, though, just a few minutes. During the annular eclipse, you'll need glasses like these during the entire event, even at its peak. It's not until April of next year during the total solar eclipse that you can lose the glasses, at least for a little bit, during totality. Homemade pinhole cameras can work, too. And if you plan to use telescopes or binoculars, don't forget to attach a solar filter. And if all else fails, find a tree. And look under a tree, because what happens is all the little gaps between leaves make little apertures, and so you get images of the sun on the ground. That happens every day. But on a normal day, the sun is just a circle. But on eclipse day, it's a crescent. And so you see all these little crescent suns in, on the ground under the trees. And here's a fun fact. The temperature actually drops during an eclipse. During a total eclipse, it can drop close to 10 degrees depending on the current temperature and humidity. An annual eclipse, you'll still feel that, that change in temperature. It's enough. It's more than a cloud going in front of the sun, but it's not like the total. Speaking of clouds, we don't want them. Am I nervous about clouds? <laughs> I'm always nervous about clouds. We are at the mercy of weather. While clouds wouldn't completely ruin the experience, they would take away from the once in a lifetime event. Meantime, you may notice at the eclipse's peak that wildlife will start to act weird. Birds will do the thing that they do uh, after sunset. So after the sun sets, but before it gets dark, and they do the swooping around thing, and they make a lot of noise, birds will do that. Our local bats may also get confused, although it's the total solar eclipse that may really throw them for a loop. Lastly, you'll want to start making plans now, with plenty of out-of-town visitors headed our way. Justin Horn, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.